Achievement awards are being given out at the Grammy show this year, one to Miles Davis and one to Paul McCartney. We can't speak for Miles, of course, who can, but Paul McCartney seems to be pretty thrilled about the whole thing. They're still great, obviously, because people are telling you they like you. They're telling you they think you were pretty good this year or this life or whatever it is, you know. So there's a certain um, honor to just your peers, your mates, uh, the people out there, especially kind of readers, polls and things like that when you know it's just the people. Actually telling you you're good, you know, it's just, it's nice to be told you're good. Uh, so that's good, but in this case, when, when, it, um, when it gets the kind of Lifetime Achievement Awards, I mean, I keep saying, well, wait a minute, I haven't had a lifetime yet. You know, you give me that when I'm like about 70 or so. But listen, you know, I don't turn my nose up to any award. Anytime people think I've done something good, you know, I'm, I'm grateful. Uh, it's, it's nice, you know, that, uh, that they'd want to give that award to me. And um, I understand that Stevie and Ray Charles are going to sing a couple of my songs on the show. So, I mean, that in itself is like a huge honor. So it's great. It's an honor, you know. It's, um, I never turned down a good deal, me. Paul McCartney, a happy, happy guy, as you can tell. We're going to have a break coming up in a moment, and then tomorrow's weather forecast, Walter's perspective, and Paul McCartney, what he had to say backstage at the Grammys about a Beatles reunion. And later, Steve McMichael talks about why he wants the Bears to trade him. Rumors tonight, number one, that you were going to do a song. Yeah. And number two, that you were going to be met on stage by Ringo and George. What happened to that? How'd yeah. that rumor get started? Well, I, I don't think George and Ringo are here, so that's what happened to that. Um, started. The rumor got started because George is up for two Wilburys and Ringo's up for a Country and Western Award. So, you know, that makes in the press, makes a reunion. The records that I've made are a real reflection of my, my artistic soul. I have to be, I have to qualify that because I've made some real stinking records. I've also made some good ones, and this last one happened to be one of the, I finally hit it, it happened to be a real good. You know, of course the show is over, over but a lot of folks aren't just filing out and going home. A lot of them are waiting around in hopes that people like Bette Midler or Paul McCartney might walk out here. And speaking of Paul McCartney, when he came backstage, he was asked if, if that Lifetime Achievement Award really capped off his career, was the epitome. And he said, no, not really. This is a new beginning, and I'm looking at it as something that I can come back and get again when I'm 85 years old. So uh, a lot of good things that these people had to say. It was uh, a nice feeling to be back there and wait for them and stand only six feet away. And uh, I'll see you back tomorrow if I can ever get away from here. I thought I would end with these folks yelling and yelling, and I could say they were chanting, Steve, 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 but they stopped before you came on the air. You may be there for a long time. Did Paul McCartney pay to have the Chicago woman come out there, too? <laughs> no, you know, he was making reference to all of his fans at once, kind of overwhelmed about it all. <laughs> Steve, thanks. All we're right. going to wrap it up here at 4 past 11 o'clock. Huh. See you tomorrow. Good night. There were lots of great performances at this year's Grammys telecast. For many people, the highlight of the show was the Lifetime Achievement Award given to Paul McCartney. McCartney provided the night's only political moment. I'm going to just take one second because the other thing, if you'd have told me, when I reached this age, if you'd have told me that there'd be a hole in the sky, and if you told me that the rain would have acid in it, and if you told me that there'd be pollution in the seas and on the land, that's something else I wouldn't have believed. But you know what? I've got faith we're going to clean it up. <laughs> because if you'd have told me that the Berlin Wall had come down and Mr. Mandela would be free, I wouldn't have believed that either. But I believe it now. And though he didn't perform himself, McCartney did get a little help from his friends. We can work it out. We can work it out. Former Beatle Paul McCartney, who's been rocking nonstop since the 60s, accepted a Grammy Award for Lifetime Achievement. McCartney's no stranger to the Grammys. He's already won five. Here's what's happened to some of the people you met tonight. Paul McCartney celebrated his 48th birthday on the tour just concluded last week back in Chicago. He was awarded a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Springs Grammys. I've got to take this opportunity now that I got this award here to thank 
John, George and Ringo for being beautiful people. Thank you. And Joy Wall finally got her fondest wish. Hey, hey. I've heard all about you. I've heard a lot about How you, you doing, too. Babe? Okay. All right, yeah, nice to see you. <laughs> After seeing her on 48 Hours, the McCartney folks flew Joy to Boston, where she met Paul. Hi there. <laughs> Viewers of 48 Hours, we've been reunited. We yeah, here we are. We finally made it, kids. <laughs> That's 48 Hours for this week.